Between appearances, knowledge boys hide away in London's half a dozen knowledge yeah. schools, where the odd generous cabbie passes on his wisdom. Don't watch me, just like the inspector. Do not watch him. Yeah? Because he'll say anything, man, and throw you off track. Because that's what it's all about, to see how you're going to deal with the public. And believe you me, the public talk to you worse than the inspector. You're taking me all over bloody London. And all you can do is say sorry, sir, or no, sir. Because this is hard to get, but very easy to lose. Yeah? And if you lose it up there, you'll never get this. Right, next victim. You are now going from the Metropole Hotel the Metropole. to Moorgate Station. Um, okay. So I leave it by turning right onto Harbeck Street. Turn left. Turn left onto Harbeck Street and then a left onto Prade Street. Yes. And then we're forward onto Craven Road. Or am I going the other Craven way? Craven Road? I'm going the other way, aren't I? Where well, you drive down one way street? <laughs> All right. So I leave it by turning left into Harbeck Street, bear left the old Marylebone Road, and then right onto Marylebone Road. All right. And then um, forward onto. I start talking about my chair, all kind, and you stop. Now you're going to do the same thing in front of the inspector, because he's most probably going to, the first thing he's going to do as you come, he's going to intimidate you. Yeah? If it's Mr. Halsey, he most probably break the pencil in half. What are you going to do? Stop then? Oh, right, so when you hear me doing it here, just forget about me, man. I just call the run because they're going to do the same to see what you're going to do. Yeah? yeah. I know because they did it enough to me, man. Mr. Beck, where is this way, yeah. Mr. Beck? There's no words to describe him. His knowledge is brilliant. His knowledge is second to none. But he's just a scary man. He just really is. You just pray you don't have him. When you, when you get your card back from your last appearance and his initial's the first one, which normally means you're gonna have him next, you just think, oh, I can't believe it. It's devastating to get Mr. Orm. <laughs> It's like walking to have your head cut off. It's like following the executioner. It's slow, lethargic, and you know as soon as you get in his office, he's going to hit you with stuff that he doesn't want you to answer. Yeah, it's a land to the slow, huh? It's definitely, definitely, definitely. To the slow. Come in and shut the door, Mr Wood. You've got your card on you. Thank you. Sit yourself down. And where have you been lately, Mr Wood? Well, the last two weeks I've been on holiday, but... Have you? So you've not been able to get out much and do a great deal? No. OK. All right, let's go from Highgate Station and take you from there, please, to Blancfontaine Road, please. The examiners aren't there to catch you out. They're not there to make life difficult for you. They are there to establish that you have learnt the knowledge, that you've actually been out on the road, that you've seen the places, that you know the names of the roads, you know precisely the location of the various places along the route. And they're there to encourage you to learn more. I'm just greening too much. No, I've done. I can't place the general spot. All right. Now let's go from the Sainsbury wing of the National Gallery and take me from there, please, to the High Veld. Sainsbury's wing, National Gallery, is uh, Trafalgar Square, Coxburgh, uh, Pel East, East Pell Mell. To the High Veld. The High Veld. I'm not sure we've seen a huge amount of encouragement. It may not have come across as encouragement, but the purpose of the way they ask the questions is, in fact, to put thoughts into your mind. So although it may come across as you being asked a very difficult question and you haven't got a clue where the particular location is, 
The idea is to encourage you to go and find out. It begins with an A. Um, it goes forward into the mill bank. Oh, no. Comply with uh, Lambeth Circus, or Horse Ferry Circus, forward mill bank, set down on the riot. Where did you go on holiday, Mr Wood? Uh, Spain. Did you? It shows. There you go. Leave Thank the door you, open, please, when you go out. Bye-bye. Bye. Do you think knowledge boys feel encouraged when they're in this building? Uh, I suspect they may not. Are they frightened of me? No, I don't think so. They can't anticipate what I ask, which is, which is what they try and do. And I try and make it as realistic as possible by just going from one place to another. Uh, I've never bitten anyone yet. I've never thumped them. I've never sworn at anyone. And I'm always polite, I think, and pleasant to them. If they're frightened, then it's their own myth and mystery that they build up, and it's nothing to do with me. That's their, that's their imagination and their mind. This way of doing things, if you're not a person of strong mind, it will frustrate you, you know? What do you mean? Well, the way he moves, you know, he moves so slow, you know. Come with me, this way, please. You know, oh, never mind, you know. And you say, oh, why is this man be? But that's the way he is, you know. That is the way he is. You know, he's one away. It's <laughs> not that I like him. <laughs> Someone in the flats across the road here had a toucan. And I used to gaze at that during the summer days and think, why isn't the toucan flying away? And I suddenly realised that it was just a, a, a Guinness toucan. So I decided I'd get a parrot to look on the window to look at the toucan. If the parrot's facing out of the window, I've had a good day, and if the parrot's facing inwards, then I've had a bad day. Or and I'm sure they can tell you all different explanations as to what way he's facing and what mood I'm supposed to be in and what well, questions I'm supposed to be asking. And I change him occasionally just to give him something to talk about or think about. That's the parrot. <laughs> Next. <laughs> People have been making appearances for some time. In 1851, visitors to the Great Exhibition in Hyde Park were furious London's cabbies couldn't find their way around the capital. The knowledge was born. And every generation since, knowledge boys have been roaming London, aware they have to prove their competence to the Metropolitan Police. With the verbal tests came regulations and stipulations aplenty, not just about competence, but about character. Every cabbie's badge comes on a short leash attached to a buff manila file. Personal details are logged. Any complaints or misdemeanors recorded. A knowledge boy may finally make the leap from two wheels to four, but the carriage office never quite loses its grip on the man or his vehicle. A long time ago, an American man came to this this particular building to, to see the knowledge, uh, how it operated, and he went away having described it as the last outpost of the British Empire, where we still wear shirts and collars and ties and shoes and things. Well, like the handbrake, please. Hook brake, please. We try to maintain the standards which we think that members of the public require. If people are happy being driven around by people with um, designer string vests over beer guts, well then so be it. But we at least here try to maintain a standard that will meet the, the highest levels throughout the world. I think what they don't realise up there is um, they've all come out from being ex-policemen on a pension 
and there's people like us who are on schemes or, or, or on the dole that have got no money and they don't realise that we're out every day in the rain, in the cold, and like that's, we just want to hurry up and get it done so we can earn a living, it's just a proper living. I don't think they realise that up there. So, is there a pot of gold at the end of the knowledge? Ask the London Taxi Driver Association what cabbies earn, and they suggest contacting Taxi Newspaper, and they recommend calling the Fellowship of Hackney Carriage Officers, who aren't able to comment. The Inn and Revenue are under the impression the average cabbie earns about £10,000 a year, after tax and expenses. Seems a rather small reward for at least two years' unpaid labour on the knowledge. In fact, a figure three times that might be nearer the mark. Goodsby Man about lead by East Studies Road, right Peck and right Westside, for Forest Hill Road. The penury of the apprenticeship could explain why at least 60% of people who start the knowledge never finish. But if you do stick with it, there is the occasional breakthrough. Like that moment when the jumble of maps and streets all falls into place. Old Camwell Road, left by a place called New Church Road. Right Southampton Way, left Commercial Way, right Peckham Mill Street, left Peckham High Street, right Swain Road, right Consort Road, right Manage Lane. Left into the Peckham Rye East Side. It's not unlike the first time you could do your seven times table. In knowledge boy jargon, seeing it. 